All right, so let's talk about two terms that people confuse all the time. And what are those two terms? Those two terms are ischemia versus infarction. So a lot of the times people confuse these terms because while well, they both start with the letter I, ischemia versus infarction, um, both of them end up having some sort of an issue where you see it and we'll talk about, um, I'm going to use cardio as an example here, because I think that's going to be the highest yield where it's going to show up. So with ischemia, it is actually a decreased blood flow to a certain portion of the heart. Again, we're going to stick to just cardio right now. Whereas infarction is actually no blood flow. So can ischemia lead to infarct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can ischemia stand by itself? Absolutely. So again, ischemia is going to be decreased of blood flow, which means I'm going to have decreased oxygen to that portion of the heart. If I have decreased blood flow, or decreased oxygen, it's going to lead to chest pain. And chest pain is known as angina. Whereas infarction is a complete loss of blood flow. So it's not going to just lead to chest pain. It's going to lead to full-blown necrosis or cell death. And that cell death, or our cardiomyocytes, which are what? Cardio meaning heart, myo meaning muscle, sites meaning cells. So the cells of our heart muscle are now dying. So there's a big difference between a lack of blood flow and oxygen to a portion of the heart, which is going to lead to that chest pain or that angina, versus an infarct where we have no blood flow and that portion of the heart is dying off. So the difference between the two is ischemia is milder than infarct. However, ischemia or that lack of blood flow could just be the beginning of that blockage that will ultimately lead to an infarct if we do not do something about it. What we want to do here with angina, we want to take care of that blood flow. So a lot of different things we can do. Uh, medication is one of them. Um, invasive procedures like stents is another one of them. Infarct, we're watching out for these cardiomyocytes dying off because there is no blood flow. There is no blood flow. So again, these cardiomyocytes are dying off. We're worried about what is the mnemonic that I always talk about that is going to save you and or help you significantly is ask graph. Because when these cardiomyocytes start to die off, they are going to release a lot of potassium. So now we're worried about ventricular fibrillation or if these cells are dying off because of no blood flow, because of an infarct, it can also lead to weakness in the cell, weakness in the heart wall, which means it can rupture, and now we've got hemorrhaging. So again, ischemia, lack of blood flow, lack of oxygen can lead to chest pain or angina, infarct full-blown block of blood flow, leading to necrosis, cell death, or looking out for ASK graph. So I hope you understand the difference between the two and don't get them confused. Of course, I use them just for cardio right now because that's super high yield, but both ischemia and infarction can be caused or can happen at any part of the body, any part of the body. Hope you enjoy. Take care.